Welcome to the heart model. So we'll start off with the flow of blood coming back to the heart. So the heart, the blood will come back through the right cephalic vein, um, right brachiocephalic vein and left brachiocephalic vein, and then they form together to form the superior vena cava. So the blood will drain into the atrium uh, section. So this right here, the structure is your right auricle. If you open it up, you have your pectinate muscle right there. You look and right now you can't really see the fossil valus or the coronary sinus, but it will be around this around this area right there. Uh, and then right after the blood will drain in, and also the blood comes in through the inferior vena cava from the lower body, so it goes into there, and then it will drain into the right ventricle through the right tricuspid valve, so which is right there. So now this is your right ventricle. So you open it up. You have your again the tricuspid valve coming in, and then you have your chordae tendine, which is right there. And then the coronary tendinate attaches to the papillary muscle, which is right there. And then all of this carnage that's around the uh, the heart, well, inside the uh, the right ventricle, is called your trabeculate carnate. Then the blood will end up have to be it will be able your blood will go into your lungs through. For, so first structure will pass by is your pulmonary semilunar valves which is right there and then your blood goes through these the pulmonary trunk and through your right pulmonary artery and then through your left pulmonary artery so you have your right pulmonary artery right there and then your left pulmonary uh your right sorry your right pulmonary artery is right there and then your left pulmonary artery is right there so once it comes back from the lungs it needs to it will drain back into the left atrium so it comes back into through the uh, pulmonary veins right there and through the pulmonary veins, which is right there. So this is your right superior pulmonary vein, your right inferior pulmonary vein, and then this is your left pulmonary, uh, your left pulmonary veins. So then same structure, you have your right or uh, your left auricle. Um, then the opening of your pulmonary veins are right there. And then same thing, you have your pectinate muscle. And then the blood will drain down onto into the left ventricle through the left bicuspid valve, so right there. And then same structure that the coordinate tendine, you have your papillary muscle, which is right there, your your trabeculae carnae, and then the blood gets sent into the into the system, so it goes through the aortic semilunar valve, which is right there. So once it gets sent through, it goes through the um, the aorta. So this is your aorta system. So you have your ascending uh, your ascending aorta, which is right, which is right there, and then your descending aorta, which is right there, and then you have the aortic arch, and then blood gets sent through through these uh, these guys. So you have your right brachiocephalic artery, your left common corroded artery and your left subclavian artery which is right there and uh, now just the other structures for the heart so you have your apex of the heart which is the, bo the, po uh, the inferior portion of the heart so right there you can't really see the base of the heart you have your interatrial septum so that's a, that's basically the septum that separates the uh, the two atrium structure which is like around this area can't really see it, but around this area. And then you have your interventricular system. So these separate, uh, it separates both the right and the left, which is basically down here. Uh, your next is your ligamentum arteriosum. So it's just the ligament structure, which is right there. So right, just right behind, right below the aortic arch and right above the pulmonary arteries. And then finally, all the arteries and veins. So we'll start with the veins. So first structure, the blood again, like I said, you had the opening of the coronary sinus. So this is your coronary sinus. So this, this little big guy right there. If you follow the coronary sinus through here, once 
it passes this structure, you will have the, looking around here, you will have the greater cardiac veins. So it takes like great portion of the heart. And then come back to the coronary sinus. If you go towards the via the inferior vena cava, so this is your inferior vena cava. Here you have your middle cardiac vein. So right there, so coronary sinus, middle cardiac vein. And then if you continue along the coronary sinus, then you have your lesser or small cardiac veins. Right there. And then finally, if you keep following the tract of the coronary sinus, you have this little branch right there, which is your anterior cardiac vein. And then finally, we're going to finish off with the coronary arteries. So it's on both sides of the atrium. So very simple. You have your right and left. So the right will be next to the right atrium. So right, the structure right there is your right coronary artery. And then the left coronary artery will be on the left side of your atrium. So this is your left coronary artery. And that will cover the heart model.